Welcome back. Now then, we are discussing the latest from the I'm a Celebrity Jungle with former campmate Carol Vorderman <laughs> and Boy George's close friend and manager, PK. Morning to both Welcome. of you. Morning. Morning. So you might recognise PK, best known for his appearances at the Real Housewives in Beverly Hills. I think George actually appeared on that, so no stranger to a little bit of reality TV. Uh, Godfather, uh, George's, to uh, your youngest daughter, PK. Um, he's going to kick off at some stage, isn't he? Probably. I mean, we've had early signs of it. I mean, there was a terrible trauma. Sputterings. You know, Sputterings. Under, undercooked mushrooms, big problem. Yeah. <laughs> but thing the is, thing is, is with George, he, he, he gets over it very, very quickly. Mm. So he has to get out, he has to talk to someone. And then providing he's had that voice, he'll get over it. Yeah, but who's going to be his voice in there? I mean, that's normally it's you, but you're well, sitting on our side. No, sofa. right. And he, does he have a problem with authority? Because that's what they've been saying. Not really. You know, he's one of those contradictions he loves to be managed he loves me to tell him what to do and then he hates me telling him what to do which makes it very difficult in management terms yeah but i don't think it's an authority thing i think he just has opinions he has emotions he has feelings and he needs to get them out yeah he um he looked like you were saying and the boys picked it up last night saying uh, 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 uh give me something to do give me something to do you know sort of what do you want me yeah. to do but actually sitting down and saying no one's asking me to do anything um <laughs> uh, it, it's it was quite watching that carol you think I, i'm not sure whether or not you want something to do or you just uh, or you well, don't when you're, like when you're being actually told. in the jungle yeah yeah, you get you do get a little bit bored, but I mean, social media in fact is exactly what you're saying. He was saying nobody tells me what to nobody tells me what to do. Well, tell me what you want me to do. Then. Yeah, it's like, it's totally. And and social media was pretty cruel about him. I have to say. Listen, I, I think it's so, listen. It's so tough to watch it when you love someone as I much know, as I love him. I know, I know. And I'm sitting here thinking, four weeks ago he's playing in front of a hundred thousand people in Austin, and now he's in a water tank yeah, half drowning yeah. Yeah, but you know he what did i mean it's like, like he was really good in there calm yeah. wasn't he? and i thought he did that really really well like i could see there's only been tiny bits and they've not been that bad so i think you know but a perspective yeah. like i think he's he's good and he's good and he was a, a karma chameleon and he's a character yeah. as well <laughs> very good um, do, do, does he cook yeah he cooks a lot does he, he so does. with this thing with charlene which is going on at the moment yeah. um and you can see that charlene i couldn't quite understand why they don't just let her cook she's obviously incredibly really good, good at it just I let her cook i know sit i back. would yes i'd sit so, back and let him do anything so so he would like to cook he would like to cook look he's a bit of a control freak he likes control um but he's a a kind nice guy and he's very into meditation and breathing and he'll get through it it's very early doors mm. i mean he got himself in a big state emotionally he was scared before he went in yeah i'm not surprised. and there was a there was a, a lead up when he wasn't doing it and he's not one for surprises and there's a lot of surprises in this show did you talk him into it i did i'm a terrible manager aren't i <laughs> what have i done so he said no the guy's a global icon he plays the hundreds i've stuck him in a it might, Jungle. it might be the best thing you've ever done. Yeah, let's wait. Let's wait. See, when it comes to the cooking pot, whenever you watch this, there's always arguments around there. Like, I, I would, you've been in there. I would think if I was going to ever go in there, I'd be like, don't touch the cooking pot. Just no, stay back. Uh, and the thing that obviously we as viewers don't see is that the cooking goes on all day. And so you have rice and beans for breakfast, you have rice and beans, and then people are going, oh, you know, it tastes like gruel, or, oh, we'll fry them a bit today, or we'll do this, that, and that. So it becomes a bigger thing mm -hmm. than it does to us watching mm -hmm. uh, when you're in there. And um, they, they, I think they're being, you know, they're playing it at the moment because they haven't given them jobs. You know, there comes a point at which everybody is given a job. Yeah. You're in charge of washing up, you're doing this, you're doing that. And so this is where the tetchiness can come in. Yeah. Because people think, oh, no, I want something to do. Well, yeah. it's lovely when they're actually cooking with a full complement of stars because they've got, you know, lots yes. of stuff to cook. We've actually got the clip here. This is uh, George and Scarlett uh, chatting about Charlene <laughs> cooking. <laughs> You are such a matriarch, and you'd better accept it. Don't even deny it. Look at you. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I said to her this morning, give us jobs. If you're going to be in charge, yeah. tell me to go and clean the toilet. Tell me to go and get the wood. I'm happy to be told what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't, if you, I can't push my way in because they're right in their room. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I good. just don't say anything now. But today I said a little bit, so, you know, just take a break tonight. I'll cook. And I'm like, no, 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 I'll do it. We should all change roles tomorrow, I think. And all with the heat? With everything, yeah. We should all do something that we've not done tomorrow. Okay.
she, Scarlett's approaching this in a very diplomatic way, isn't she? She's like saying it out loud. She's not directly saying it to somebody. She's trying to keep the peace, but still getting what she ultimately wants, which is a turn. Yes. Should we talk about Matt Hancock, shall we? Yes. Uh, yes. Sean Walsh, Matt Hancock uh, are in the jungle tonight. They were welcomed in by doing the trial, Beastly Burrow. Should we, should we look at it again? <laughs> <Come>. okay? What? <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, it's the green, uh, it's the green uh, made him squeal there. It's never easy coming in last, is it, Carol? George I is think your yeah, man I, is going to kick off. No, I don't. Well, I'm not saying he won't, but I, I, he'll definitely meet him first and form his own opinion. In other words, he won't have a preconceived won't way you of said he's got sympathy stuff. for people that may have been battered sort of publicly that he may... Well, I think he can relate to that. I think he's been in the public eye for such a long time. Uh, he's a kind guy. He's got his opinions for sure. Mm. And there are certain subjects that if Matt Hancock touches that a no goes for George, then you'll, you'll see the response. As with anybody. I As with anybody. Know. But I think yeah. he's going to give him a chance. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, I, um, let's talk well, a lot of people are hoping that George will kick off and we're all bringing up our deck chairs oh, no. to watch it going on. You're not. Time. I'm yeah. definitely not hoping he'll kick off. I, he's got this image that that's what he does he, he doesn't actually do that he's he's really a calm guy i know we've seen uh, issues over mushrooms i get that <laughs> um, and i'm saying all this and I'm that's very just hopeful. that was day one he's not even properly hungry yet i know um <laughs> <laughs> you made him do it mike tyndall yes 